In today's world, we're getting hit with ad after ad, buy this, this is the magic way, do this, and I guarantee you'll get this result or your money back. How do you decipher if it's something you should go down that tunnel or not? So that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video and go through my lessons on buying a lot of stuff. Hey, my name's Chad Leonberg, and I've helped hundreds of agents get to six figures in real estate using our Shark Partner program. If you're interested, please reach out to me by the contact info below. So ad after ad comes out with this listing strategy, or this buyer lead strategy, or cheaper cost here. This We have one ourselves, right? So we know what it's like. I get hit with them all the time, and I'm hitting people with them as well. But that said, here's what my thoughts are on when you're trying to determine if you should buy a course, a product, a coach, or something like that. Number one, what do you need right now? Do you need a new lead generation source? Do you need to master the one you're on? You know, does it apply to what you're trying to accomplish? Are you trying to build a team? Are you trying to learn marketing? Are you trying, like, what are you trying to accomplish? Check if it applies to what you're already trying to accomplish. That's number one. Number two, is it proven? Is there people that have actually had success with it? And these money back guarantees, I mean, yes, they exist and they're real, but most of them you have to do ridiculous requirements to get your money back, like call 500 people a day to make it work. So don't rely on the money back guarantee. Make sure that it is proven and has been tested. Uh, typically somebody that's had success themselves will lay out a strategy that worked and, and sell it to monetize it for themselves, but also to help people that need that help. It's nice, you know, you can find real strategies that have worked from other people that have allowed you to wipe their strategy if you pay them what they're worth. Three, will you actually commit to it? Like, will you watch it and implement it step by step, every single thing that's there? This is one thing I noticed. I've bought some courses and I've replicated them exactly. And then I found the problems were generally me. Where I watch other people, they implement this part and then, then this part and then this part. I know we put courses out. And when I put courses out, let's say I've had 100 people enter my course. 99 of them, well, 90 of them don't even get through the first section of, say, five sections. Eight or nine of them implement it, but like tweak it, right? They try a different thing here. They do part one and then part four and skip part two and three, right? And then one, maybe one out of a hundred will do it verbatim. Uh, so be that one out of a hundred if you're gonna buy something. Do it exactly like it is. Give it its full, like 100%. Go back and replay the course. Master the subject that you paid for. Go all in on that. And then when you come out the other side, you have a chance to judge if it worked or not. You can't implement 50% of it and expect 100% of the results that were promised. So going all in is key to making sure that you're buying the right thing uh, for you. Number four, don't go down a rabbit hole. If you're busy enough as it is and you can't handle anything else at all, even if it's the greatest strategy in the world, maybe you should just stick with where you're at. Buying courses is good. It is good to learn new things. It's good to get in the habit of learning from others. There's courses I bought that got me negative results. I've lost a ton of money, but I've learned a mindset or a, a, a simple shift that helped me in a later course that I bought or things like that. So if it's something, you know, it's good to be in that mindset of learning and growing, but at the same time, don't get stuck down any rabbit holes that take you away from your day to day. So it's like you can be too nice and too mean, too firm or too easygoing. You need to just have that middle ground of, I will buy courses and learn from things, but I won't get stuck in rabbit holes all the time and never actually do work during the day. So that's a balance you've got to work on is being open-minded enough when you need to be, but then closed-minded enough and focused when you need to be as well. And there's really no perfect science to it. You're gonna teeter-totter on too much open-minded, too much closed-minded at times, but that's the game and that's what it looks like. That's the process you have to commit to in the order of growth. So buying courses, learning things, it's good, but you can also do too much of it, just like anything else in life. So ultimately, if you're considering something, those are the tenants that I would look at when buying them. I will tell you, I rarely have regretted buying a course. The only courses I've regretted buying or coaching programs or you name it, are the ones that I didn't implement and study and restudy and implement verbatim. The ones that I went through, truly mastered, truly implemented step by step by step, every single thing they said to do have worked. So I bet the course is as good as you are implementing it or learning it or using it. That's my two cents from my experience of buying many products and services over the course of my real estate career. I hope that's helpful for you when you're debating them. If you're interested in my products and services and courses, feel free to check down below. Uh, I'm sure we have some listed 
or jump on a strategy call with me and I'm happy to throw some at you. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Uh, even though some people make a living off this stuff, there is a lot of value that you can get in it for yourself. They exist for a reason. You just have to implement and siphon through the noise to find what is valuable to you at the current time. Does it solve what you're trying to do? And are you actually going to implement it and not get stuck down a rabbit hole that takes you away from your day to day? So I hope that was valuable in your decision making. I know that uh, I've had a lot of trouble deciding on some courses myself. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you at the top.